Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm talking about YouTube copyright infringements. As a YouTube creator, you may get an email notification saying that you got a YouTube copyright infringement. However, there's unfortunately a lot of bad people out there that take advantage of this scam and are trying to gain access to your account, making you believe you have a copyright infringement. So we're going to look at how to identify when this is a scam. A lot of email scams are the same way. You look at who it came from. We can see it's from warning at cr-somenumbers.site. Now, in this particular case, if it really was from Google or YouTube, it would come from some email address at google.com or youtube.com. This is neither one of those, so right away we know it's a scam. Further down, we can see the image that's being blocked in this case is not coming from google.com either. It's coming from some other site.co. We can look and it tells you some information that is valid with a link that is valid and true, but that doesn't matter about the true parts. We want to look at what is false and knowing that it truly is a scam, this is where they want to get you. They want you to open the full report by clicking on this link here, which will take you to Dropbox, forcing you to then sign into your Dropbox account, which will be the legitimate Dropbox.com site. However, going through this link redirects you so that you then will be sending your login credentials to the hacker for your Dropbox account. So in this case, they would be gaining access to your Dropbox site and not to YouTube. But whatever it is that they're getting you to sign into, that's what the credentials are that they're trying to gain. So instead, if you want to make sure whether or not you have any copyright infringements, you can just ignore the email and go to your YouTube dashboard. So when you're on your YouTube dashboard, go down to your content section and then under the filter, you can choose copyright claims. This is where you'll be able to see if there are any copyright infringements against you and you can review them and take action on them as needed. So that way you'll know right here if there are any issues or not and you can just ignore all the emails. And that's how you can identify whether or not a email is a scam or not and how to find out for sure in the case of any copyright infringements. And that's it for this tutorial. And if you did find it helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.